Did you know? Hi, I'm Dorna Schroeder, coordinator of the Center for Environmental Education. And one of our most popular programs in the fall is our team building program, which support the Dignity Act. The challenge course is a series of physical challenges. All of our challenges, all of our team building activities are about the skills of effective groups of people. Throughout the morning with the kids, we do a series of initiative activities. They identify some of these skills through both conversation and activities. After lunch, then, we take them to the challenge course where they have to use these skills on each of the individual challenges, which are a series of physical problems, challenges that the group has to get through. Using those skills, work through the problem, and solve the problem. At the end of the day, we give the teacher this list of skills that we've been working on all day. And the teachers use that list to create their classroom environment. And that's one of the reasons that the teachers like to come out in the fall, because they can build on what they learn here to create a very positive, supportive classroom environment. If a school is not able to do a field trip, we also offer team building programs at the school where we bring our portable challenges to the school and spend a couple of hours with the students. Again, building that list and working on those skills with the students. Did you know? Hi, my name is Dorna Schroeder. I'm the director of the BOCES Center for Environmental Education. And one of the unique programs that the Center for Environmental Education offers is our biomimicry program. Biomimicry is imitating nature's designs in human designs. An early example of biomimicry is Velcro. Uh, Velcro mimics the burdock, which has the little hooks on the end and attaches to whatever walks by it. Rather than looking at the natural world as a source of stuff, as a source of material for us, it's a source of ideas like a giant encyclopedia of information that we're learning how nature makes things, how nature does things. It is now being embraced by the world as a sustainable model, and it's where corporations, it's where engineering, it's where manufacturing is going. Most jobs within 10 years will have some form of biomimicry in it. And that's why it's really important that students are introduced to the concept of biomimicry. It's a solution-based way of thinking. We are now incorporating those ideas into education. There's two programs that we offer, either an introduction to biomimicry, which is appropriate for um, grades three up through high school, and then the second, a brand new program that we're offering this year is a design program where students actually get to take a problem, look for a solution in nature, and then design something that will solve their problem. The design program is suitable for middle school and high school students. Now you know. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.